procedures are a guideline and may be adjusted according to work order or intervention or situation. When followed correctly, they will prevent cost and callbacks. If callbacks occur due to not properly following these procedures, then employees will be held responsible for correcting the faults on their own time. Uh, number one will be greeting the customer. Introduce yourself, address any special concern that you or she may have. Uh, do a walk around as well so you can uh, notice any area that has need special care and uh, create your strategic, uh, your strategic plan to do the budget again. Uh, create a shop area also. <coughs> and we'll move on to the actual work. So we'll prepare a room which includes wood furniture, take down blinds and pictures, and we'll take put them away so they don't get damaged. Uh, prep the walls, then caulk, spackle, perform any drywall repairs to the scent as needed. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we assume this is a full interior as well. So any of these are not involved in like a, a job, a scope job, on the skip. We will usually work from top to bottom. So we'll start with ceilings. And uh, with that, we'll have to protect the flooring and all furniture that are Cut in, the, cut in the edge and around light pictures and vents, and then we can roll or spray the cement, depending on the job. So obviously, if we're spraying, it's an empty house, and we want to cut it around and just mask it off. Hot point of ceilings that are real dry. Yep. Mm -hmm. Then we'll move on to the walls. So, same thing, we'll protect flooring and furniture there as well. Uh, and we usually Start by cutting in the top and the bottom. You can start with the bottom or the top, but um, we don't roll and then cut. But, I mean, in a house like this, I guess you could do it, but sometimes you have to lean and put your hand on the wall and catch your weight, so just to prevent that. So, I have a question. Uh, so, when you're doing the walls, you got to cover the floor. Correct. That way you can do the bottom, you don't have to worry about putting the drop cloths up against it, and you're, you're covered. It's finished, you painted it, and then you can roll. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Correct. But there's usually baseboard, so we'll right. do the base, the trim comes out for the uh, right. the wall, so you can still put the baseboard wall, paint right. I mean, uh, the drop wall, paint right wall. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <coughs> and once it's cut, then you can uh, roll or spray the wall now, depending on the job. Uh, seven, once the walls are done, we'll move on to painting casings. Casings can be sanded if needed, or when needed, and then we'll can brush or spray up. But if there are bigger casings, I guess so we can roll them as well. But usually it will be regular casings. Uh, once this is done, we move on to the baseboards. Same here, we can send them when needed. is completed, again we'll do a walkthrough uh, to check for any missing list area, then we can do a walkthrough with stuff the customer, and that will include for GFOI, we put away the equipment and uh, as well we'll demonstrate sincerity and dedication and try to capture a video testimony. Okay. That's it.